So it has been over 4 years since the launch of the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 but the device is still capable enough to run the latest version of Android even today. With that being said, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to convert Samsung Galaxy Note 5 into the latest and greatest Galaxy Note 10. Guys, in the first part of this video, I'll be previewing the ROM and in the second part of it, I'll show you how to install it onto your Galaxy Note 5. But before we get along this video, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and do that and also hit the bell icon to be notified about the latest videos about the Galaxy Note 5. So guys, first up, let's take a look at the brand new notification panel that comes along with this ROM. If you go ahead and expand it, the panel will take up pretty much the entire screen, giving you the access of the settings at the bottom of the screen. It comes pretty handy and you will find this interface in other stock apps as well. Another great thing which I really like about this notification panel is that you can easily access the quick settings by tapping on the text under the toggle without getting inside of the settings app. With the Galaxy Note 10 RAM, you will also get dark mode which you can easily access through the notification panel. Considering the fact that the Note 5 has an AMOLED screen, this will definitely enhance the battery of the phone. The dark mode will not only apply on the notification panel but in other system apps as well like settings app, dialer, gallery, etc. And taking a look at the task manager, well now the apps appear up in much smaller cards which you can close all at once by tapping on the close all button at the bottom. You can also open up any of the apps in a smaller window by long pressing on it and dragging it into the blue box just like that. Nowadays, all the smartphone manufacturers are moving towards the gesture navigation system and following that, Samsung has joined the bandwagon too. So to enable the gesture navigation, head over to the settings app, then into display and then finally head over to the navigation bar tab. Here you need to tap on full screen gestures and that's about it. In the bottom, you'll have three small bars, each of which indicates the action of the buttons that you previously had. So if I want to go home, I'll simply swipe up from the bottom bar. And there there's a lot more in this ROM like the edge panel and S Pen features that I will not be able to cover in this video. So try out the other cool stuff on your own. Other than that, there are some bugs in this ROM as well like the native camera app doesn't work but you have a pre-built third party app installed in this ROM which works just as fine. Alright, so with that being set aside, let's head over to the tutorial side of this video. So guys, for flashing the Galaxy Note 10 ROM on our Galaxy Note 5 devices, we're going to be making the use of three files. First up, you need to have the latest version of Odin on your PC with of course the latest version of Torp Recovery that we're going to be flashing through the Odin application. And last but not the least, you need to have the Galaxy Note 10 ROM saved up on your phone. I'm going to be giving the download links of all of these files in the description of this video. So go there, download them up and save them on their respective devices. Alright guys, so after you're done saving up the files onto your devices, our next step is to boot up inside of the download mode onto our Galaxy Note 5 devices. So to do that, you need to press and hold the power key, volume down key and the home key all at once and within a few seconds, we'll be booted inside of the download mode. Alright, after that, go ahead and launch the Odin application on your PC and after that, connect your phone with PC using your data cable. After that, go ahead and press the volume up key to continue and right after you do that, you will see a blue box inside of the Odin which basically shows that you are now successfully connected. After that go ahead and tap on AP and then select your tour file. Alright, so last but not the least you need to tap on the start button to begin the flashing process and that is going to be taking a little while and soon after it flashes you will be booted inside of the tour recovery. So my phone is booting up at the moment and here we go. Alright guys, so once you are inside of the Torp Recovery, go ahead and tap on Vibe and then Advanced Swipe. Here you need to select these items, after that go ahead and swipe to wipe them up. Alright, so now we're going to be moving ahead to the location where we saved our ROM file. So here is mine, so go ahead and select your ROM file, after that go ahead and swipe to confirm flash. Alright, so within a few seconds, we will be booted up inside of the ROM installer. Alright guys, so once you are inside of the ROM installer, go ahead and tap on Next. Alright, go ahead and tap on Agree with All, tap Next once again, tap Next again. So here you have some configurations to make, so I'm going to be going with Full Vibe. 
stop black animation and of course with the preservation of host file after that go ahead and tap on next so here uh, you have some more stuff to choose so make the selection tab next once again so here you need to choose your csc so uh, go ahead and choose the country you are living in i am living in oman so i gotta find my country uh can't seem to find it let's go further down and weird that's weird i can't find it that's so weird bro and there we go all right tap next here uh, you have some feature options uh, once again go ahead and choose whatever you like tap next once again you got phone and emoji options choose whatever you want i'm gonna be uh, going with all the goodies of good luck tap next all uh, right tap next once again you got some bloatware to choose so uh, i don't think so i'm gonna be choosing anything over here because i hate bloatware all right tap next once again and last but not the least i guess that is the final <laughs> install button so tap next oh we got one more thing all right tap on okay and here we go so the flashing process has begun that is going to be taking a little while so after it ends uh, we can go ahead and reboot our devices all right guys so my installation just completed but i want to show you something very important so there is a line at the end which says first boot may take more than 15 minutes so what that means is that you gotta be patient while your phone boots up for the first time all right so go ahead and tap on end now so that we can get closer to the reboot stuff just tap on open go ahead and tap on reboot device go ahead and tap on end and there you go your phone will start booting up all right guys so that is going to be taking some time so yeah that's it for today's video hope you all enjoyed if you did please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see you all next time